Stop making inflammatory comments against government, Minister warns Nigerians. <laughs> the Minister of State for Defense, um, uh, what is his name, uh, Bello Matawale, is now warning Nigerians Abi, to stop making inflammatory comments against the government. If the government is doing well, nobody will make inflammatory comments. If they're not doing well, of course, people will react. They're not leading sticks. They're not leading animals. They're leading human beings. And if human beings that are leading are not comfortable with their ways of doing things, they will react. Eh? This, uh, this, this one that was supporting a, 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 a bandit in his own state when he was governor. Oh, wow. The Minister of State for Defense, Dr. Bello Matawale, Okay, has cautioned Nigerians against making inflammatory comments that could exacerbate tensions and lead to violence. So, in a statement on Friday by Hansho Ogubike, Director Information Press and Public Relations, Minister of Defense on Friday, the minister has reassured the public of President Bola Tinubu's uh, capacity, political will, um, and commitment to build a better and well-secured uh, nation. Addressing concerns over economic challenges and insecurity, Matawale emphasized the various policies implemented by President Tinubu government to reshape and modernize the economy while ensuring the safety of citizens. Acknowledging the global challenges impacting the Nigerian economy, Matawale reassured the public that President Tinubu and his team are tirelessly working to alleviate body on the populace. He urged citizens to refrain from unguarded utterances, emphasizing the importance of unity, dialogue, and understanding in addressing differences. The minister highlighted President Tinubu's approval of a committee to explore possibilities such as establishing state police to enhance uh, crime control. Hmm. So he called for responsible communication during challenging times, urging Nigerians to prioritize peace, tolerance, and the national cohesion. You are not serious. So part of the speech is this. Dr. Matawale said that President Bola Ahmed Tinubu, a GCFR, has the capacity and political will, and he is working around the clock um, to see that Nigeria is better and a well-secured uh, nation. So the minister also highlighted the various policies Tinubu's government has put in place so far to reshape and modernize our economy and to secure lives, liberty, and property of the people. Hmm. Accordingly, Mr. President has given priority to the safety of citizens by equipping the Nigerian military to function optimally, while the service chiefs have also been charged to review the capacity of the security services. So it is imperative for us as Nigerians to embrace dialogue and understanding in addressing our differences. We must remember that our strength lies in our diversity and also true unity can we overcome the challenges facing our nation. Furthermore, the minister said that President Bola Ahmed Tinubu GCFR is trying his best in tackling the economic challenges being experienced by Nigerians. Accordingly, Dr. Matawale urged all citizens to prioritize peace, tolerance, and national cohesion in their words and actions as we collectively strive towards building a prosperous and harmonious uh, Nigeria. English. English. They know how to speak it. Okay. And already people are reacting to what he has said. Um, somebody saying... <laughs> Okay, what is this shameless, idiotic, stupid old cargo vomiting with his useless mouth? You need to be seriously dealt with. People are dying of hunger and you are talking rubbish. Okay, may heaven strike you there for telling us to keep quiet. Youths are angry. Prepare to run. Okay, you foolish, heartless man. Meanwhile, I don't even know if, uh, if Nob Grant is still paying. You don't enter no grant. No, we no grant to the five for year. I feel like slapping this minister. People they die. You they talk trash. Anyway, no grant they pay. Hmm. Okay. So they turn the fire you uh, for telling us to keep quiet. Can you imagine? This is my third week. Okay. 
this so people are people are even join gone into knob what is not grant about all right so what is happening now is that uh, matawali is telling people to keep quiet these criminals need to be dealt with seriously i tell you now just citizens wake up we can't die in hunger eh? you will not die well they are already finishing him here okay what comment do you advise nigerians to do other than what you term deflammatory should nigerians heal the government for allowing miscreants to steal away trillions here and there thereby sending the country into economic doom mm -hmm. or you want us to say thank you and give uh the government award performance award of performance eh? for non-performing it is simply because you are a member of the cycle as somebody says shut your smelly mouth shameless minister close your mouth evil man they already finished him here the truth is that the uh, matawale is one of them and he is never honest i can understand what happened in that state I think uh, is that is name of his governor, okay, that came out to say this man, can, he bought hillocks for terrorists and for bandits when he was a governor. They were extracting the gold in Zamfara, free of charge, okay, and when he was a governor. And I'm sure he must be a part of that mining that was not submitting the money to federal government. So what, even when he was made the Minister of State for Defense, Nigeria said like, why are we putting somebody like Bello Matawale in defense? First of all, he does not have clue of security management. And secondly, in his state, he was the worst. He couldn't manage insecurity very well. He was even aligning with the bandit. He bought them hillocks, Toyota hillocks. That did not stop the bandit from operation. He was more like equipping the bandits to do more. So why are we putting this kind of person? Already, he has a case with EFCC that is ongoing. So why do we have this kind of person as Minister of Defense? But Tinubu, in, in, in his own way of doing things, retained him because they are best of the same feather. Tinubu was just using his ministerial appointment to reward the people that helped him to rig election into power. That is just it. He was not, elect, you know, recommending people for ministerial role by competency. He was by, by favoritism and by reward, just rewarding them for helping him. That is what I see there. And that is very bad for him as a president. Now we can see the people he put there, he can't do anything. Matawale is there. Uh, bandits and uh, full announcement, they are ravaging, uh, as of, I mean, uh, what they call it, um, they are ravaging uh, Plato State. They are now ravaging uh, Benue State. They went, full announcement, went and uh, in, in, inaugurated their own security outfit in, uh, in uh, Nasarawa State. He didn't do anything. Eh? So Nigeria, only God will help us. So thank you for listening. Let's have a comment as Matawale is telling Nigerians to keep quiet.